Hey, Kusa Konkur, e o te miranda e re tri o chugo ora guamu o e komi ur USA. E tosi eng spants norkst a uh, tukst o nu du e e oit sindur a fritiskum. Men e re oit sindur banchen at tosa fritis had o YouTube. E roine atleta mai mole fra buku o just nu voni e atleta neg v ad one challenge. Tak fira. My first Add One Challenge video update. Uh, I wanted to check in at the very beginning of my studies to show you guys what materials I'm using and what sort of knowledge of fairways I'm starting with. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to look back at this video later and realize that I've improved a lot. Um, when you're trying to gather materials for learning fairways, it's not as easy as, for example, Spanish or German or even Norwegian, um, but there are really good materials available if you spend some time like looking for them and maybe ordering them or whatever. Uh, this is the old Lockwood grammar book I was able to find in my university's library. So um, when I first started learning fairways a couple years ago, this is pretty much what I had. And it's very, very dry um, and old-fashioned, and it's kind of outdated. I mean, they have no words for, like, new technology or anything like that. Um, no undersea tunnel, no computer. These things are obviously kind of important in the Fairwilds now, so... Um, it's annoying in that regard, but it still works as a really good grammar. I mean, the grammar hasn't changed that much since it was published. Um, so I can still use this as sort of a supplementary grammar text. But the new textbook, which came out in 2009 for Fairweeze, is much better. And um, I have it on my Kindle. It's a lot more like um, just how a lot of language learning textbooks are nowadays. It reminds me a lot of the Teach Yourself Blah 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 series, which I used for Norwegian and a little bit for Finnish in the past. Um, so it's got these different dialogues. Uh, let's see. It's got dialogues. It's got uh, expressions. It has vocabulary lists. It has little grammatical explanations um, in a way that's not as overwhelming as reading the actual grammar book. And it's got um, exercises, which can be good to do. So you can see here kind of how it works. Just sort of a typical language learning book. Oh, and it's, of course, got audio corresponding to all of the different dialogues and most of the exercises, which is really, really helpful because Fairway's orthography is very confusing. And so um, I like to listen to those in the car just multiple times and try to imagine how it's written when I'm hearing it and when I'm reading it just like... I usually, even now when I'm reading Fairweez, I'm saying it out loud in my head because it just, it's taking me a long time to get a, a hang of that. It's no worse than English probably, but luckily I was able to spend like four years learning how to write English in elementary school and I don't have that luxury with Fairweez, so i got to do it in a more conscious way. Um, then there's this Fairweez company called, um, I think Sprouten. I'm really bad at pronouncing Fairweez, as you realize. So it's, it's this one. And they have all these great dictionaries that you can use, and um, you can look up words in Spanish, German, English, blah, 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 or Faroese, and it will tell you what it is in all those other languages. And it's really helpful, um, and it'll even show you how they bend, and so how they are in the accusative or the nominative or past tense if it's a verb and things like that. And they have an app, so you can get to it from your phone if you buy the subscription. Um, I also use flashcards um, from Study Blue, which I can access on my phone, so that's also really handy. Um, then I have some various novels and fairies, like this mystery one, and a few friendly fairies people who have offered to answer my questions and practice fairies um, on Skype with me sometimes. Um, my goals throughout the challenge, like I said, are to improve my grammar, vocabulary, and understanding of spoken fairies. Um, over the course of the challenge, hopefully I'll spend 30 hours reading fairies, 30 hours listening to fairies, in 90 hours doing miscellaneous um, study of any kind. So I wanted to give some idea of where I am with Fairways right now um, at the beginning of the challenge. Obviously knowing Norwegian helps me a lot and that's why I can more or less read this book for example even though my like formal study skills are not that advanced yet. So my understanding of the text is very uneven. Like I can go through and sometimes there's like a whole paragraph I understand, sometimes there's a whole paragraph I don't. A lot of times the things I don't understand are more of the description 
So I think I'm following the plot pretty well, but sometimes there's like hilarious mistakes. Um, there's a lot of words actually in Faroes because the environment of the Faroe Islands is so different from the Midwest of the United States where I grew up that sometimes I'll look up a word and I still don't understand the English translation because it's some kind of fish or it's like a shepherding term or it's some geological formation that I'm just not familiar with at all. So sometimes I've actually been learning English as much as Faroese, which is cool. Um, one time, it was pretty embarrassing. I was reading the book and I thought that the main character was like hiking up a mountain and had like a cramp in his calf, but actually he'd caught some kind of fish. So I had to kind of reread the entire chapter because I obviously fundamentally misunderstood something about what he was doing. So um, things like that will happen, um, but it's pretty good. Now, um, the orthography is really hard for me in Faroese. Um, when I first started learning it, I just pronounced it like Norwegian, plus the ed, which is pronounced like the in like Old English and things like that. Um, that letter in Faroese can have about five different pronunciations. None of them are ed. So like in the word for sled and the word for God, it can be pronounced as like a D, but otherwise it's usually some kind of glide, like a V or a Y or something. It really just depends on the word. So um, I'm going to read a little passage now, and all the Faroese people watching this uh, can feel free to laugh at me and comment about how atrocious it is, because that's the only way I'm going to learn. But uh, it's embarrassing because it's hard, but let's see. I'll just pick a random place to start. A for in we chalplarin, han var lagur o mörkur, o so a so oinche o förstana. Sum chaltarar flestier o tremur av udlum mugulium, e motte stuiga varslia, till aigurne huvdu vant saivi halva skuminga. Yeah. yeah, long words really get to me because I'm like concentrating on each letter and then they mess me up. So I'm pretty sure I understand, like, he goes into um, the, the chaldur. Um, like basement, and uh, it's dark there, so he doesn't see anything at first, and um, he has to wait until his eyes adjust. Neo saw a trapuna up oi erva, oin cladna rigva, la o goldenun, thraman firi hana. Um, so, yeah, he's seeing the staircase, and um, something is lying on the floor in front of it. Um, Kledna, I guess, has to do with clothes. Not really sure. Um, a for Neda, O saw, at Kledna Rigvan Hevdi Andlit. Andlite O Hugo. Okay, so he goes closer and he sees that it has, I think Andlit's a face. I really should know that. I've seen it a couple times in the text. Um, and it's Hugo's face, so I guess this is his friend Hugo. Um, yeah. So hopefully I'll get a lot better and more understandable as I continue. And um, hopefully I'll be able to look back at this video and laugh at myself. Wish me luck. Thank you.